In this video, you will see how to install and configure IPCOM software. This software receives messages from communicators and forwards them to monitoring software. Later, we will demonstrate how to set up a communicator to send messages to the central monitoring station. First, download the reception software IPCOM Windows from trickdisk.com. The software is free and compatible with all monitoring software. Install IPCOM Windows on the computer. Launch the software. Click the Options button. In the General Signal Last Time section, specify the GPRS multiplier, how many of the communicator's ping signals must be absent in a row for the software to form the message Lost Connection. We recommend setting 3. In the General External section, specify the path for connecting to the Central Monitoring Station software, COM via RS232 serial port or LAN via local network. If you chose COM, click the Setup button and set the parameters for the output port. If you chose LAN, enter the monitoring software's IP address and port number. It is recommended to set the heartbit interval as 60 seconds. Data transmission format, SureGuard MLR2. Tick the Started box to enable data transmission. In the Connection GPRS TCP Server Settings section, specify the number of the server port that will be used to receive events from the communicator. Tick the Started box to enable event reception by the receiver. If the event transmission protocol is UDP, under GPRS UDP Server Settings, specify the number of the server port that will be used to receive events from the communicator. Tick the Started box to enable event reception by the receiver. In the Connection Data section, enter the password, which is the encryption key, which must also be entered in the communicator. In the Receiver Generated Identifiers section, you need to specify the receiver parameters, receiver, line, object ID, that will be sent to the monitoring station's software. If there is no need to use unique numeration, we recommend setting receiver 1, line 1, object ID 0. After modifying the settings, click the OK button. We recommend checking if the IPCOM receiver is accessible from the outside. You can use the link www.ugetsignal.com forward slash tools forward slash open ports. If the receiver is inaccessible due to network settings, you may need to open port access. For this, you will have to configure the network router. If required, search for the instructions on how to do this on YouTube or on the Internet. Next, we will show what settings need to be changed to make the communicator transmit messages to the central monitoring station. Connect the communicator to a control panel, as shown in previous videos, or follow the instructions in the communicator's installation manual. You can download the manual from the webpage trickdisk.com. A SIM card must be inserted into a GSM communicator. Mobile data service must be enabled for the SIM card. The following example will use the G16 communicator to demonstrate the settings for connecting to the central monitoring station, but they are similar for other devices. Connect the communicator to a computer using a USB Mini-B cable. Launch TrickDisk Config software. You can download the software from trickdisk.com. Click the Read F4 button to read the data currently on the G16 communicator. In the software's System Settings window, enter the object ID given to the object by the central monitoring station. 
choose the panel type that the G16 communicator is connected to. In the CMS reporting window, specify communication type IP. Set the appropriate settings for the primary connection channel. Choose protocol TRK. You can also choose other protocols, DC09-2007 or DC09-2012. Specify the TRK encryption key that is set in the receiver. Enter the receiver's domain or IP address. Specify the static IP address or domain name if the central monitoring station does not have a static IP address. Enter the receiver's port number on the network. The port number must match with the one set in the IPCOM receiver. The receiver must be accessible via the set domain, IP, and port. Specify which of the protocols, TCP or UDP, should be used for sending messages. We recommend using TCP. Set the appropriate settings for the backup connection channel. The settings are identical to the primary connection channels. The backup connection channel must have a backup IPCOM receiver. Enter the backup SMS reporting number. For this to work, an SMS receiver must be installed in the monitoring station. Messages are sent via the backup SMS channel when they cannot be sent via the primary or backup IP channels. Open the Settings tab. Here, specify the test period and IP ping period. You can also specify how many unsuccessful attempts to send messages via the primary channel it will take before switching to the backup connection channel, backup reporting after. It is also possible to specify the time after which the communicator will attempt to regain connection via the primary channel. Return from backup after. In the SIM card window, enter the APN name and the SIM card's PIN code. Click the right F5 button to save the data to the communicator. Click Disconnect and disconnect the USB cable. The G16 communicator is now ready to send messages to the monitoring station's IPCOM receiver. The end.